right? For my lazy folks that just need something that's easy and simple, you're going to love this one. Use someone else's hands. You We're really focused on uh, how to build a lucrative coaching business the lazy way. And uh, what's so interesting about building it in the way that we're getting ready to talk about is uh, one of the things I hear a lot is people say, you know, I, I don't have enough time or, you know, I want to change the world. I have these big ambitions. I want to make things happen. But, you know, consulting hundreds of coaches and speakers in this area, they either have the time, but um, they're not making the necessary actions. And I'm going to tell you why that happens. I'm going to share with you um, why people continually uh, push things off for later. Look, first of all, <laughs> you know, I, I come to the front of the line and say, uh, that's definitely have been me where I wanted to, I wanted to make more progress. I wanted to make faster progress, but, uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't make faster progress because I was being lazy because, um, I was procrastinating. And I'm gonna tell you what it really comes down to. It really came down to, um, fear. And we're going to talk more about how fear slows us down and how fear makes us, uh, you know, it holds us back in certain ways. And by the way, I started to feel like I was procrastinating and I started feeling lazy. And the, and, and the truth of the matter was, it wasn't that I was lazy or also procrastinating. And it was because I was fearful of making a mistake. I was afraid that I would, I, I would spend all this time, energy and effort, right? I see you T, right? I was, I was afraid that I would spend all this time, energy, and effort doing something, and I would go down the wrong road and realize, oh, I got to come all the way back and try to figure it all out again. And it's going to take more money. It's going to take more time. It's going to take more energy, right? You know, and um, a lot of us, we're doing this, and we're, you know, we're older, right? I mean, I, I work with folks. I mean, some of the oldest members in my program has been 60 or 70 years old that I've worked with, right? That's like, you know, and the great part about, this is a side note. The best part about like coaching and speaking on knowledge and expertise and experience, this industry is equivalent to wine. So the older you get, the more experience and wisdom you have, which means that you're more valuable the older you get. You feel what I'm saying? Which means you have more wisdom and knowledge to share the older you get. Um, I want you to realize that, and this is the same realization I had to have, that we're in it to just help people. So if you realize that and you just focus on not what everybody else is doing and getting caught up in the, what the world is doing and this person be ahead of you and this person hating on you and this, and you just say, okay, what do I need to do to live out my true purpose and just help somebody today? You know, we do that through different ways, right? And we, that's probably a different call. I can show you how to do coaching and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, what am I doing today to really help somebody and transform and transform lives? I'm going to put uh, how to grow the lazy way. All right, cool. So you use a, got a better market than that. So, all right, so grow the lazy way. So this is what it's going to come down to. It's three, three things. So we're going to go. One, two, just imagine that that's a circle. It's kind of crooked. <laughs> Three. All right. So grow the lazy way. All right. So there's three things that we need to, we need to do to grow our, our business. All right. And I want you to write these down verbatim and everybody go ahead and also put this in the, the chat in the comments the chat and the comments so you can, so everybody else could, um, could come back later or when they're watching this, they can, um, they can also capture these points. All right, so point number one. Point number one is um, bootstrap, bootstrap your biz to the basics. And, ba and this is really should say, Bootstrap your business down to the basics. It might be kind of hard to read. 
but bootstrap your business down to the basics. Bootstrap your business down to the basics. Coach, what do you mean by that? What do you mean bootstrap my business down to the basics? So bootstrapping is a term that came from, I want to say around the 1920s, where basically, you know, they say, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, which really means is that, you know, doing an impossible is supposed to be doing like almost like an impossible task, right? Think about lifting yourself up by the bootstraps, right? So it's not a one-to-one in terms of like exactly the meaning back then it is with, with, with how we use it today. But basically what it comes down to is you got to, if you want to make your business frictionless, remove everything that is unnecessary for you to get started. The second thing in order to really build your business the easiest and the most simplest way is tech it, stay with me, set it, and I'm going to go outside of the lines, forget it. Tech it, set it, forget it. Tech it, set it, forget it. Coach T, what do you mean tech it, set it, forget it? So the second thing is you really need to have at least, and this is really like an automation strategy. Like what you really have to set up automation is really what this comes down to. So your, your goal is you need to, you need to set up your business in a way where you can take yourself out of the equation as much as possible. Right. If you feel like yo, you're busy and you just keep forgetting how to do things, or you got certain things on your calendar, but you're just not sticking to what's on your calendar to build your business, or which, by the way, I've done all of this, or you know, you're you're, you're forgetting to do things in your business, like damn, I just keep forgetting to do it. I know I want to do it. I'm passionate about it. I just keep forgetting to do it. Well, why don't you automate it? Why don't you Why don't you set up the tech? Figure out okay, if I'm if I am going to use some type of software, some type of technology, well. Um, let me set it up first, right? Let me set it up, figure out what do I need? So for example, if you're going to use like a Calendly to book appointments, okay, well, let me set up, let me, let me figure out what I want to use. Okay. I want to use Calendly. Cool. Set it. All right. Well, I know how to use it. I, I, I signed up for it. I got an idea on how to navigate it and how to use it. Okay. Let me set it. Set it is what are the settings for it? How do I set it up in a way where I can forget it? How do I set something up one time and not have to worry about it again, right? For my lazy folks that just need something that's easy and simple, you're going to love this one. Use someone else's hands. Use someone else's hands. Use someone else's hands, someone else's hands. What that really means is find somebody else that can help you. Find somebody else that can, that you can, you can hand things off to. See, half the time, you're not even lazy. You're just, you're doing things that it might not come simple to you. It might not come natural to you. It might be super confusing or it might take so much effort to try to do and try to figure out that you may just be better just giving it to somebody else to do so you can get the ball rolling faster. And it's not even that you procrastinate and it's just that it's not a natural talent or even if it's not natural, because I don't want you to think that things have to be natural to you in order for you to figure it out or learn it. However, however, you got to make a decision to, at a minimum, understand it. And if you understand it, hand it off. Does that make sense? Like, I don't have to, I don't have to know how to edit videos to, in order to understand what a good video looks like. And I can hire somebody who, who got the whiz bang editing, video editing skills. I might not know how to do transitions and how to change colors and scenes and add music. And I might not know how to do all of that. But you might be looking on Instagram or you might be looking on social media and saying, okay, I'm seeing that this is what's trending right now. I'm seeing that, okay, this is what's keeping attention right now online. Okay, 
Let me get somebody else to do it. So now you know what to look for, but you may not know the ins and outs of how to do it. That's okay. As long as you know the strategy, use somebody else's hands. Make sense? So these are the three things you want to, you, that you want to be doing. These are the three things. Bootstrap your business. Bootstrap your biz down to the basics. Take it, set it, and forget it. And use someone else's hands. If this is valuable, go ahead and put very valuable in the comments. On my Facebook fam, go ahead and put very valuable. Put very valuable in the comments. And my, and my Zoom peeps, put very valuable. This is key. 